Hello friends. Today we're going to make some homemade Texas barbecue sauce. Oh, it's so good. This is my favorite barbecue sauce and my mom, y'all know her as Granny, she uh, come up with this and uh, it's our favorite and we're going to put it over some pork ribs, uh, but I'm going to show y'all how to make it and uh, step by step. Okay, these are the ingredients you're gonna need. We're gonna need the bigger can of the one pound can of tomato puree. You're gonna need two of those. And you're gonna need some ketchup, some lemon juice, some Orchester char sauce, some pepper, some onion, garlic, minced garlic, some mustard, and some brown sugar. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we've diced up our onion and I diced it up fairly small because we don't want big old onion in the sauce. And we're going to just put a little bit of olive oil in our skillet, heat it up. And we're gonna fry or make our onions translucent. So we're gonna translucent these onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic and I like to use the um, minced garlic and I get it in the produce section at Walmart. Now you don't want to put your garlic in when you put your raw onions in. You want to kind of wait till the almost the end because your garlic will cook down the flavor. So that's something I kind of learned not real, real long ago. I would say probably a couple of years. And so I kind of tested it and it, it really is true. But we're having um, pork ribs and I'll show you my little system over here. Um, I've got a crock pot over here. You have to excuse my kitchen because like I said, we haven't had water for several days. And I got this little liner so I wouldn't have to wash this pan. But these are pork ribs. They're the country style pork ribs. And um, you can cook them in the oven. My mom actually, the, she's the one that came up with this recipe. She actually likes cooking them in the oven better. But we did not want to use up a lot of propane because we just got propane. We were running low on propane and we actually just got propane uh, this morning. So, okay. These are not all the way translucent, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this garlic. And I'm gonna add a full spoon. You don't have to add this much if you don't want to. We just kinda like garlic, so that's not gonna be overpowering or anything like that, because this that garlic does this thing to be like really strong. Okay, we're gonna let that cook for just a, long enough for me to get my cans open. This is so easy. We. This is kind of a sweet barbecue sauce. And if uh, you've ever been down here to Texas, we have a restaurant called Spring Creek Barbecue. And it is wonderful. So she kind of wanted it to taste like that. It doesn't taste exactly, but actually I kind of like it better. She come up with this, goodness, I was a little girl. So we've been having this for a while. I wanted her to make the video, but she's just been so crazy and I had to cook these pork ribs today. They've been in the refrigerator with the way electricity's been. Okay, we're going to pour this in. Now, you want to make sure it's puree and not sauce. Because the puree kind of has the consistency of a... Um, Ketchup. It's thicker. Okay. Open that can. Quite big enough. And um, you don't want just a runny, runny paste. And this gives it more of a thick. So tomato puree. What you want? We're gonna put that in there. Two, two of these big cans. And then we're gonna go for about. Here's my licking fingers. Um, we're going to go for about a cup or so of ketchup. Now she didn't, she come up with the ketchup. I was older when she came up with the ketchup. I think one day she didn't have enough of the other. 
and she used some ketchup one day and we were like that's the secret that is so good it just gives it a a different flavor to, to add that ketchup so about a cup of ketchup and we like to use Heinz, but you can use whatever you want. So I would estimate that that's about a, about a cup, okay? Then you want a squirt of lemon juice. If you were going to juice a real lemon, I would probably say a good tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Okay? And now this is another secret, Worcestershire sour sauce. And the way, there's not a measurement on this. The way that you know, turn that down, that you have the right amount is when it is the color of barbecue sauce, okay? Now, like I said, this is Granny's recipe, and this is the way she makes it. So it's gonna, you're gonna feel like you're using a whole bunch so I've never really measured it to see how much it is, but it's a lot and it's, you do it, just do a little bit and then stir it. And you wanna keep on adding until this is the color of barbecue sauce. You know, barbecue sauce is not red. Like I just have in these, this tomato puree. Barbecue sauce is a reddish brown. So let's see how much that is. want it to be the color of a good barbecue sauce and you won't need any salt because your that has plenty of salt but you're gonna want pepper we like a hot kind of a spicy barbecue sauce if you don't just leave out the pepper some more keep on adding until it's the color You're gonna probably feel like, oh, I'm adding so much, but don't worry about it. It just magically is wonderful. Let me try to show y'all how this looks. The lighting is a is good. See, that's still kind of red, but let me stir, keep stirring it. So I got some spots here that haven't been, but that's getting close. We're gonna add some more though. That wasn't a new bottle when I added it, but it's taken a lot of it. Okay, that's pretty good. I may add another splash or two. Excuse my camera skills. And yeah, just a few more splashes. And then we'll call it good. I think this bottle was about to here. Now we're down to about here. So you use quite a bit. Don't worry. Okay, so I got to the color I want. Now I'm gonna put my pepper in. Now you're gonna you're gonna need to do the amount of pepper you like. We like a lot, and I'd say we probably use a good tablespoon. Maybe a little more than a tablespoon. Okay? So we like it a little spicy. All right, on your ketchup, not ketchup, your mustard, we are going to add just a little squirt. Now, don't get too carried away on your on your mustard because you will, I would say, probably a teaspoon, okay? Not a lot. And then your sugar, brown sugar. You, can, I have ran out before and had to use... Um, regular white sugar and I just cooked it down but I prefer um, brown sugar if you don't like yours real sweet you don't have to put as much as, as I do some people don't like sweet barbecue sauce but we do okay I'm gonna use half of a cup of sugar okay then we're gonna heat it up and then we're gonna taste it and just see if it needs a little bit more of something it may need another little bit of sugar. It may need a little bit more lemon, lemon uh, 
juice, but usually what I put in there is good enough. The stuff that you really kind of have to add to what you like is the sugar. This is so easy, it's not hard, and it's better than store-bought. Homemade's always better. Okay, that's pretty good and stirred up. So we're gonna taste it before it gets too hot and see if we got enough sugar in there. I keep forgetting not to get regular spoons. I tell you, we've been trying to use paper plates and paper, all this stuff, because we uh, don't have any water. I'm having to go get water and then bring it in so we can do stuff. Okay. I think it needs more sugar. Okay, that's a dirty spoon. So I'm gonna put probably another fourth of a cup. This is something you're gonna kinda have to taste and see, cause you might not like as much as we do. Okay, another fourth of a cup. And I have found out that you do have to use a little bit more brown sugar than you do the white sugar if you don't happen if you happen to not have any brown. So stir it up and then just see if that is sweet enough. Clean spoon. Now we're just gonna let this simmer for a little while. Probably about 15 minutes. Slow simmer. So I got all the pork ribs out and I am separating the fat and the bones and I'm gonna put all the meat over here and then I'm going to shred it. I got the ribs all in here and uh, partially shredded. We kind of like some big pieces. And now I'm going to put barbecue sauce on it. Put some barbecue sauce on it, however much you like. We like a lot. And we like to stir it all up. And then we like to serve it over um, mashed potatoes. So that's what we're doing tonight. And you can put the leftover sauce in a jar in your refrigerator. That is the most delicious sauce you will ever, ever eat. I usually don't look this bad for y'all that's never seen me in the kitchen before, but with this winter storm, I just wanted a hoodie on, and this is the one that I've been painting our son's house in. So, if you're not a follower, we'd love you to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy. We'll see y'all next time.